As you may be aware, well-known Tesla enthusiast, Dave Lee thinks that Tesla will soon launch an entirely new lineup of cars. With the launch of this new car line, Tesla would become the unchallenged leader of EVs and a threat to both legacy automakers and the market as a whole. According to Dave Lee, there's a good chance a brand new, all-electric van will be released within a few months. We're excited to see what the future holds for Tesla with Elon Musk leading the way and the company's unwavering commitment to innovation. So fasten your seatbelts and get ready for an experience you won't soon forget. During the Q1 earnings call for 2021, Elon said, I think Tesla is definitely going to make an electric van at some point. In answer to a query, Elon is undoubtedly thinking about the Tesla van, and I believe the announcement is only a matter of time. We can't wait to tell you all about these advancements, but first, additionally, you may share this movie with your friends in a current discussion by using the subscribe button. According to Dave Lee, he thinks Tesla will introduce a van soon, and he has strong evidence to support this belief. Elon Musk has already shown interest in this industry and has given the Mercedes Sprinter Grand Chassis high marks. Second, there is a huge market for vans, which includes delivery and commercial vans that serve many industries in addition to passenger vans. 18 to 20 million light commercial vehicles are sold annually in the market, with Mercedes-Benz alone selling 400-000 vans. Lee feels that Tesla could sell two to three times as much. Up until recently, Tesla's main focus was growing the Model 3, but now that the Cybertruck ramp-up is starting this year, they may take on other challenges. Dave believes Tesla is poised to challenge the van market. According to Dave, Tesla is far advanced in the engineering process and already has a prototype. He believes that Tesla's recent Investor Day presentation featured the van. Lee believed that the unknown car on the side was the Tesla van. Since Tesla doesn't cater to the light commercial vehicle sector, Osborne won't have an existing vehicle, which is one benefit of delivering the van sooner. A cheaper, more compact car like the rumored $25,000 car would make some potential customers decide not to buy Model 3 or Model Y for the van if Tesla were to disclose it too soon. But since there's no reason to worry, Dave thinks Tesla might reveal the van anytime it's ready. The Tesla van might be fantastic. It would have a totally electric drive, much like a Tesla, and it would benefit from a network of supercharging stations. Moreover, by the time the vans are introduced, the fully autonomous software, FSD, will probably have evolved significantly. When Dave brought up the topic of last foot delivery, which involves utilizing Optimus to deliver products from a Tesla van, the same Tesla executive stated that the business is investigating a variety of innovative concepts. All things considered, Tesla is not resting on its laurels. Rather, the business is aggressively exploring new markets and car categories while continuously innovating at reduced cost and higher volume. Like Dave, I'm eager to see what Tesla will have to offer in the upcoming years. Over the past 10 years, Tesla has seen the introduction of cutting-edge electric vehicles, including trucks, SUVs, automobiles, and even a semi-truck in the design division. Families will find that cars like the Model I and Model X have plenty of cargo space, but if you need something bigger to fit more than eight people or have specific mobility needs, Tesla's covert plan suggests that high-density urban transportation will be necessary to support electric cars in the future. Elon Musk has been considering a Tesla van for a number of years. It may be built on the Cybertruck chassis or targeted at construction companies looking to go green. Unfortunately, we have to notify you that Tesla does not currently manufacture electric vans, nor have they provided any specific information on their development. Although the company's long-term goal is to switch from ICE cars to electric high-capacity transportation, the development of the Cybertruck and Semi is presently taking precedence over any potential Tesla van project. On T. Witter, Elon Musk has made frequent references to high-capacity battery cars, Robovans, and Tesla Sprinter vans. The Tesla van and minibus are two of the proposed model names for Tesla's vehicle project. Model V Tesla Model B Tesla, although there are two models of Tesla, the Cybervan and the minivan. It is unlikely that the term Tesla minivan will be used for both. First off, a van design will probably have more than eight seats, 
as a minivan is normally classified as a vehicle with a maximum of eight seats. There's nothing trendy about the name minivan, and it's unlikely that Tesla's marketing team would approve of it. Let's talk about the high-capacity electric vehicle, the Tesla van, and its possible range. Rivals in the market provide models with estimated ranges of between 125 and 200 miles. However, Tesla may aim for a higher range of 200 to 250 miles or more. This could be a constraint for Tesla because a longer range requires a larger battery, which is currently lacking in the industry. The Cybertruck chassis, not the Model X chassis, is used for building the Tesla van and previous estimations on the Cybertruck's battery capacity are correct. A battery pack with a capacity of between 100 and 200 kilowatt hours might be installed in the van. In an industry that is already rushing to find safe battery materials, producing such a large amount of extra battery power could be difficult. For its vehicles, Tesla currently prefers lithium iron phosphate, light P, batteries because of their low cost and high energy efficiency. But a Tesla van or Tesla small box intended for cargo transportation rather than passenger transportation might need a lighter battery with a higher energy density, which would mean using battery technology that contains some cobalt. Regardless of the materials used for the battery components, GM's Ultium battery packs use a nickel cobalt manganese aluminum and CMA architecture to create cars with capacity requirements that are similar to those of a potential Tesla van. The restricted availability of batteries is the primary barrier to the production of Tesla vans, and it has also caused a delay in the production and delivery of Cybertrucks and Samus. Regarding whether Tesla will build an electric van suitable for a pneumatic lifestyle, there has been conjecture. Although it sounds fantastic, a Tesla van equipped with living space accessories and solar panels is not a top priority for Tesla. Nonetheless, there is a good chance that a high-capacity passenger van or a Tesla work van will be produced, and users might alter the van themselves. The Tesla van would probably cost between $55,000 and $80,000. Tesla will have to manufacture the van at a cheaper NSRP than rival brands like Ford and Mercedes-Benz if it is intended to be a work van. With a 400-foot cargo capacity or up to 15 seats, the Tesla van's interior is anticipated to be comparable to other electric vans now being manufactured. Ultimately, Tesla will select the battery for this model, which will determine the maximum payload. Since Tesla is now concentrating on producing its Cybertruck and Semi versions, it seems doubtful that production of a Tesla van will begin before 2025. It would not be shocking, though, if Tesla announced plans for an electric van even earlier than 2025, as both GNC and Chevrolet plan to debut their own versions of the van by then. This, of course, depends on all manufacturers being able to obtain enough battery components to start producing electric vans on a significant scale. You're in luck if you're searching for a Tesla that can fit a few more people than standard cars. There are two SUVs from Tesla that can hold more than five people. The Model X can be set for six or seven seats, whereas the Model I has a seven-seat option. There is a price for the additional sheets. Nevertheless, the six-seater Model X is priced $6,500 more than the seven-seater Model X, which adds an additional $3,500 to the cost. The seven-seater Model Y, on the other hand, comes at an extra four grand. If you want to purchase a bigger capacity test lift at a lower cost, you might want to think about purchasing a used one, even if you might be entitled for the federal tax EV credit, to help offset costs. Regretfully, it's hard to find a six- or seven-seater Tesla on most websites. It can be time-consuming to click through each potential listing to confirm the quantity of seats, and that's it. We'd appreciate you coming along for this tour of the upcoming Tesla van release. Tesla is going through an exciting period as they continue to push the limits of design and innovation. We are eager to follow this innovative company's future endeavors. To receive regular information on Tesla and other cutting-edge firms, make sure to like and subscribe to Wall Street Games. Watch you in the upcoming video.